What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Every couple of years, the entire community rallies and gets enraged when they find out that Call of Duty might be implementing skill-based matchmaking in their latest game. And the problem with this topic is that there's no hard data to prove one way or another whether or not skill-based matchmaking is what we think it is. Activision's matchmaking system is a is patented technology that they are not going to release to the public because then competitors are going to take it. And honestly, it's one of the things that made Call of Duty so good to begin with. So with nobody in the community having any sort of data to prove whether or not skill-based matchmaking is what we think it is, me making this video is probably going to be me just shooting myself in the foot because while I will talk to you guys about what I believe to be the case for Call of Duty not only this year but all of the years previously there's no way for me to you know take out a spreadsheet and be like hey look here is my definitive proof because it doesn't exist for either end of the spectrum when it comes to this argument I'm already bracing myself for all of the dislikes it's fine guys if you are with me make sure at the end of the video to leave a like okay oh shit okay let's just get into it so I've got an analogy for you guys okay if I take all six of these bananas right we have six bananas none of which are ripe bums me out completely because I wanted to have one this morning and they're all green if I take six bananas and this right here which is strawberry preserve and I put it all into a smoothie do I have a banana smoothie or a strawberry smoothie six bananas a little bit of strawberry preserve we don't have a strawberry smoothie right we can all agree we do not have a strawberry smoothie we have predominantly a banana smoothie you probably won't even notice that the strawberry is in there because it's such a small amount compared to the amount of bananas that i put in that smoothie and this is how i'm going to explain to you guys how call of duty matches you with players of your skill level the matchmaking system in call of duty is incredibly complex and it has a ton of different components that determine who you're going to be playing the game with one of those pieces in the puzzle is the skill of the player and we don't know if it's the player's kd or if it's their score per minute or if it's their their player level it's probably kd um, but we have no definitive proof and so what call of duty does when it comes to skill is it tries to roughly gauge how good of a player you are and sort of place you in a match with similar skilled players but it does not do this at the expense of connection or of player experience and i already know that you guys are typing in the comments you're saying this is uh, omniarch i can't even believe you would say something so stupid because i played the beta for three days and i kept getting matched with the same people and there's no other reason there's no other excuse there's no other possibility in this reality as to why i would be getting matched with the same people if it wasn't skill-based matchmaking i mean really that's that's the only argument that the community has in in their defense right if you guys haven't been on twitter or social media within the last couple of days for the first beta weekend of modern warfare towards the end of the weekend everybody took to twitter and said hey I'm pretty sure they're implementing skill-based matchmaking because all of a sudden uh, I'm getting matched with way more uh, sweaty tryhards and it's also getting harder for me to do well it's harder for me to get streaks um, and I'm getting matched with the same players so you know they must have implemented skill-based matchmaking because suddenly my experience has changed now keep in mind that is the only proof that we have as a community that there might be skill-based matchmaking in call of duty and like i said there is a small portion a small portion of the matchmaking algorithm that will attempt to put you in a game with similar skilled players um and that's for your own good right it's because that's what's fun for the most amount of people i know that everybody wants to be a pub star everybody wants to pub stomp the problem with that is if you only pub stomp every single game you're not going to have fun with the game and the people who are getting dominated won't have fun with the game either so in order to keep the game somewhat playable and somewhat fun they, they have to somehow put you in some sort of skilled box and match you with players similar to that skill level and i'm not saying that it is a one-to-one 
you know if you're a 2kd player you get matched with a 2kd player that is not how the algorithm works it is way too complicated because when you have an algorithm with so many variables right you have different variables it's your connection your location which is related to your connection um your skill at the game maybe it takes into account your level of the game maybe it takes into account how much play time that you have we have no idea but what we do know is that the algorithm and the system is very complicated and in order to favor one specific variable so heavily it would have to be at the detriment of something else which means if you were only getting matched with players based on your skill level then you would see a decrease in connection you would see you know maybe you're pairing with people from all different countries or you would see all sorts of different um things and mostly you would see that your connection would be terrible you would be glitching around the map your ping would be terrible so it's safe to say that despite people feeling like as the weekend went on they started matching up with more sweaties and it got more difficult it's safe to say that what the community thinks skill-based matchmaking is is not in call of duty uh, and it doesn't make sense to argue for any other outcome right that's the only possible scenario because of how successful call of duty is as i said before the community thinks when they say skill-based matchmaking they think that all call of duty is doing when they press find a game is that it's matching them with other players of equal skill level that's what the community thinks skill-based matchmaking is when in reality what it actually is is a tiny piece of a larger formula that attempts to give all the players involved the best experience possible and it doesn't always do it well right like i'm not saying that it's a good system i'm not saying that it it doesn't have its flaws because it obviously does it's a very complex system and every year the spawn system gets messed up and every year the matchmaking system probably gets messed up or gets tweaked or whatever the case is but the reality of the situation is that a majority of the way that Call of Duty will match you with other players is based on probably your geography and also your connection with a small portion of that formula being your skill for your own benefit. Oh my god, it's 9.30 and I already think I need a shot because of this video. So as I said in the beginning of this video, nobody has proof on either end of the spectrum as to whether there is or there is not hard skill based matchmaking. That's what I'm gonna call it. That's what the community thinks it is. They think 2KD players get matched with 2KD players. So nobody has proof as to why, uh, whether or not this is in the game, right? My opinion and what I feel to be true is what I've explained here is that if you have this much of a formula and this much of skill based matchmaking, it's not a skill based matchmaking system. It's just a matchmaking system that happens to include a little bit of your skill. So without data to prove this, how why do i think this why do i feel this way right wouldn't it it just be easier to scapegoat hard skill based matchmaking and say hey call of duty is probably in implementing this because they want players to and that's it that's my proof why would they implement skill based matchmaking for what reason how because you have to think right activision is a for-profit business obviously i mean we know microtransactions are coming we know loot boxes are coming like activision is only in this for the money right so you have to think okay if skill-based matchmaking is in the game why would it be in the game what to what benefit right what would they gain out of this from there being skill-based matchmaking and the answer is nothing the answer is nothing because if you matched players mainly based on skill at the detriment to their connection what you would see is that more players would have a worse experience on the game people would be sweating way too hard people would be having closer to a 1kd if anything right because if everyone everyone in the lobby has a 2kd on average and you put them all together then there can't be more kills than deaths so just by that simple math it's simple mathematics most people in that lobby would leave the game with a 1kd more or less right there'd be slight variables on based on spawn and experience and lag spikes or whatever but most people would leave with the 1kd from that match it's literally just math i don't have to explain that to you if you don't understand that that's it's not on me to explain basic math but regardless if there was hard skill-based matchmaking in the game players would have a poor experience and what does that cause it causes players to stop playing right which means they're not gonna buy loot boxes because they're not playing the game which means activision actually loses more money so well then you could say well it benefits the the terrible timmies and you know the fortnite freddies the kids who've never played call of duty before and they're absolute 
garbage at the game you know they're 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 the ones benefiting because they're matched with with people of their skill level and and they're bad and so they'll be matched with bad players and so then they're gonna do good and, and that'll get them to keep playing and they're gonna ask their mom for their credit card and that's and they're gonna spend more money but that logic doesn't make sense because the same exact logic applies to the good player if you're a bad player and you get matched with bad players then you're matched with people of your same skill level and that means that everybody is going to be doing almost as equally as good or bad throughout the match which means if you are a 0.8 kd player and you match with all other 0.8 kd players then everybody in that lobby is going to leave with around a 1 kd that's how math works that's how math works if you take the average kd of everybody in the match it's going to equal about a 1 kd because everyone is more or less the same skill which means everyone's more or less going to get the same number of kills and deaths and you can't have more kills than deaths because for every kill there's a death and so do you think that terrible players getting a 1 kd is going to get them excited about playing the game no it's not 8.8 kd players don't want to be a 1 kd player they don't they want to be a 2 kd player or a 3 kd player they want to absolutely dominate they want to shred and skill-based matchmaking is going to prevent them from doing that as well so that argument that you know oh it's for the bad players it doesn't that's not an argument it's not an argument based on math it's simple math uh that would not do what you think it would do um there's no portion of the community where skill-based matchmaking actually helps them and gets them to have an incredible experience at best hard skill based matchmaking would simply give everybody an average experience and most people would have a frustrating experience because it would be very sweaty and very try hard and so the proof against hard skill based matchmaking is merely in the logic i mean there's no logical reason for there being a hard skill based matchmaking system in the game and this is this is why the developers don't even acknowledge this because the math even though it's a very it's very simple math based on the average iq of the entire population half of you guys aren't even going to understand that math even though it's relatively basic the high school system is not very good at least here in america so most people probably can't even understand the basic math that i've presented in this video um and who knows i would like to think that my audience can understand it it's pretty basic like i said but the community like i said the developers don't even acknowledge it because it's so complicated and and even the most basic piece of math involved with this whole system is still more complicated than maybe your basic high school uh education so they only shoot themselves in the foot by talking about it as am i by making this video because i already know that there's going to be dislikes and comments and people saying that i'm stupid and oh activision has a patent for a matchmaking technology that helps them sell more loot boxes because they're going to match players with good players with good loot box items and it, it's all of this conspiracy tinfoil hat bs it's frustrating because every year there's always a scapegoat right back in the day back in the day when everybody had crummy internet this was right after dial-up the biggest scapegoat for call of duty was lag like oh man it did so bad because it was just i was lagging all over the place like yeah sometimes you were but let's be honest sometimes you would die and you would blame lag and it wasn't lag and we knew it deep down right we all knew it we all said it like oh pfft and lag is the reason I died like everyone knew it wasn't always lag and skill based matchmaking is now that scapegoat because most people have a better internet connection now um and so now people are like well pff, why am I dying now <laughs> it's not because I'm bad that's pff, no it must be let me check Twitter oh it's skill based matchmaking pff, that's what it is god damn it I hate skill based matchmaking that's so stupid man I wish that wasn't in the game so I could do well anyway I'm totally off topic at this point in the video so I just wanted to make this video and try to offer up my explanation as to why hard skill based matchmaking is not in the game it's ridiculous to assume that Activision would even want that to be the case because it would be detrimental to the player experience which would lead to fewer sales and fewer microtransaction sales and that's the opposite of of what a publicly traded company would want as an end goal and hopefully my smoothie analogy helped you guys understand how the algorithm 
what how it actually works why they even implement some skill factor at all and if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps my channel out a ton if you've never been here before make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell if you want to get notified the next time that i upload a video all my social media links will be in the description below if you want to come and follow me on there and support me um like i said in my last video i don't make money off of pretty much any of my youtube videos so if you guys want to help me out just follow me on social media and and on youtube and that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace